Rebecca, I want to thank you for the work that you're doing and educating people about what we can do if we have the courage to change. Uh, in your travels, interesting enough, five of the cities you put up there, I've lived in, uh, in Indiana and two in Ohio and one in Chicago and one in Pennsylvania. And then, of course, in Morgantown and Charleston within West Virginia. West Virginia, when I was growing up, was a amazing industrial hub. 250,000 uh, coal miners, well-paid, uh, 6,000 equivalent to Silicon Valley tech engineers, except at that time it was chemical engineers with carbide and FMC and DuPont. But because we didn't change, we got left behind. And that's something that's facing many states throughout America in the Appalachian areas. But what West Virginia is doing that is so different is we made a decision to reinvent ourselves. We said, we're going to disrupt ourselves now, and we're going to do it in a way that no startup state has ever done before. And similar to what candidly are being done on a national level with President Macron in France and Prime Minister Modi in India in terms of a digital country, digital states, and how do you really change things? And it starts with coming together with a dream of what West Virginia can look like. Can we become the example for the rest of the nation in startups? Can we have organizations that have never worked well together work together almost seamlessly on this vision to the point where you have great universities, West Virginia University and Marshall University, working in a way they've never done before? You have the business leaders and the government leaders, Republicans and Democrats, state, local, and national leaders from our national senators uh, to literally our uh, state government leadership to local leadership. And you outline audacious goals. Uh, West Virginia just got ranked the number three startup state in the nation in terms of year over year growth for startups. And we just accomplished uh, six individual billion dollar projects being brought into the state that in prior time periods, if we got one a decade, we were lucky and we're just getting started. But it required a vision of what we could do if we were willing to reinvent ourselves and to make fundamental change as we move forward. Uh, that takes courage, and it's something I'm very proud of the entire West Virginia team, both those that still live in the state and those that used to live in the state. But I think what you captured is if you have the courage to say, let's reinvent our education system. Let's literally work in a way that creates outcomes, i.e. jobs for the future. Let's get Currently, 41 startups at Vantage Ventures there in Morgantown, where Sarah Biller is our heart and soul. And Canley Gordon Gee is, is, is my great friend and fellow wing person uh, as we make these changes. And then Brad Smith from Marshall, who's been a very good friend for a long period of time. But it is something that almost no other place in the world could do. We're moving with tremendous speeds, and it gives me tremendous high expectations for what we can do if you're willing to reinvent yourself if you're willing to take chances, outline uh, you know, very aggressive goals, and then have the courage to do it, where you don't care who gets the credit, you just wanna accomplish the goals. So I hope the people that are there today are proud of what we've done, but you haven't seen anything else in terms of what the future holds. Rebecca, I wanna thank you for creating this opportunity for us, and it's an honor to be there virtually on your kickoff there in Morgan. Okay, I'm